Hello, Gorringes are on view. This time for our sale on the 27th of February. Uh, we've just got back from holiday, so all of this is fresh to my eyes, as fresh as it is to yours. Um, but I did have a little look online, and there's a good chunk of paintings in this sale, some interesting furniture. So let's have a browse. There's a nice old schoolish collection of what I've seen mostly watercolours. Here's one of them by Carlton Grant. Um, view of Windsor by the looks of things, there's Ethan Chapel by the looks of things, uh, nice, nicely painted watercolour there, something a bit more contemporary up above, this is Bill Wright, Scottish watercolourist, that sort of coastal scene, mm. and to the left of it something very Victorian, um, this is oil on canvas, very sort of Arthurian legend by the looks of it, that's lot 746. That's a nice big old four it's a poster whopper. bed, it is isn't it, yes. it's very tall. I can't even get it in the camera. Um, We'll keep going back, go back as far as we were on holiday. Uh, I, I can't see a lot of it as yet. Gosh. Um, yes, I can. It's got 147. There we go. So, not a bad four post, but it looks actually to be a, a genuine thing. So often they're made up from bits and pieces, but this looks to be all right. It's Victorian. Uh, look at these rather splendid sort of carved. Oh, it's just smart, isn't it? Sarah, rather handsome. So there we go. There's a, there's a nice big pine press cupboard there. Could work the kitchen, could work the bedroom, lot 175. Otherwise, as always, the long case clocks. One of these nice big square stools here. You see all different sort of shapes and sizes these days. Square one. This is lot 180. It's quite mm. low. It's more of a sort of footstool. Uh, this almost matches that bed, doesn't Good it? Good grief, it's huge. Very much does in style. A um, bit darker in colour. That's lot 149. It's a foul mirror. Uh, let's have a little poke about down here. There's a reasonable Victorian side cabinet or credenza. Nice features that we're looking for, serpentine glass there, not just bowed or flat. Uh, quality inlay, reasonable mounts as well. Quite smart that, lot 168, totally out of fashion of course, but that's a good reason to buy it, I should say. Yes. Um, let's have a little look at that. Various other decorative artworks scattered about throughout. Uh, here's a big line. No, it's not. It's been. Uh, it's. It's not a big line. It's been sold. Or it's. Please come and pick that up. It's quite large. It needs a big vehicle. Um, let's go and look at the smalls. So in the smalls, first thing that caught our eye, lot five oh six. Look at that pool pottery. I think that's lovely. Very stylish, isn't yeah. it? Now usually, it's got the pool mark stamped into it, and that sort of funny D shape, which one would imagine was a decorator's mark, because you'd expect something like this to be signed by the decorator but we like that 506 yeah that's great um, other things look at those they're nice what are they well i think they're to sit on a mantelpiece um they're tollware they're painted painted metal oh. um they're loaded at the base so they're heavy and they are made to hold something so i suppose they could be spilt for spills or tapers for like on the fire or what have you lot 364 anyway oh, next to an elephant we saw elephants. We saw elephants at the zoo. No, we didn't. Um, lot 363. So this is not an old piece. This is a, 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 a later one. But still, it's got a nice look to it. 363. I love the like cats. cats. That's Rawr. great. Lot 363. This ceramic cheese dome in stoneware. Has got an impress mark that I'm struggling to read. It looks like it might be German, but um, anyway, we will have looked that up for you. But rather fun. Look at the smiling cats rather than tigers, That's I think, aren't they, cats? So there we are. Off to a good start. Down below, look at that. Lovely. 366. Dink, <laughs> dinky little uh, lid. And then this Well, you could put the tea bags in there, could you? Well, you, you could. You just won't. How would you get them out? You would never. Uh, nicely impressed. Studio Potter's Mark. I like that. I'm not sure it's overly practical, but I think it's great. It is fun. Um, really nice. So we're fun. flowing today, aren't we? We've yeah. only gone past. Well, it's because we've missed the place. Yeah, well, I, I get some decent stuff in when we're not here, clearly. <laughs> uh, I like this lot already. 357. I haven't even looked at it yet. Uh. So this is a really nice mishmash of ceramics. There's a, 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 an asparagus moulded Prezzo jar of no great age. No. Nice little leaf moulded Wedgwood plate. It's got the Made in England mark, so we know it's after 1910. Not as old as it might be. There's a sort of early-ish bit of Staffordshire with the square, Staffordshire type Pratt type with the square base. We've got a, what looks like a Worcester or Carfley teapot with 
I think we'd safely say the wrong lid on top of it. But, you know, a nice mixture of bits and pieces, interesting ceramics. Got a beautiful cups and saucers. The quality of the gilding, it's been broken and cracked. Um, there's some vases, look at those. So, yeah, interesting lot. This does have its glass trumpet. Like wow. so, but needs repair or re gluing or reattaching with the Agreed. stag's head. So there we go, 357. You can keep yourself busy for days looking all that lot up. Uh, further watercolors, Thomas Churchyard's a bit of a name from that same job that I was telling you about with the watercolors. I think one of Joe's jobs up Tunbridge Wells Way. Thomas Churchyard, 1798 to 1865, it helpfully says here. Um, just a little sketchy thing, but he, he does demand money, lot 685 there. Then, what else can we share with you? Well, yeah. carrying on, what catches your eye? Plenty of dogs. Plenty of dogs. How about a great big Guinness? Oh, this is Look huge. That. Yes. Lot 400. So immediately with something like this, we say, how old is it? Yes, I was going to That's got a that bit question. of age, hasn't it? That, that felt, that green felt. Here's the pint. <laughs> or a port. Look at that. I fancy that. So this has got some age. I'd say this could be 1950s, 60s. Um, great fun. Not it 400. is great fun. Yeah. And it's always popular. Now, ha! Ah, oh, there's one another one. Before, haven't we? Yes. But this is uh, bejazzled. Posh, posh fashion. So it's got a, a, a crown finial. Oh. And some real jazzy decoration, lot 399. I'm sure we've looked it up and said who it's by. And again, it's that same model of being this sort of oversized teapot almost. It's, it's um, amusing. It's, and there's the tea cosy to, 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 to warm it. <laughs> and it says, nice drop of regimental sergeant major. So actually, I think that probably does go with it. There we go, let's see. Gosh, yeah. Uh, here, nice little portrait, 676, signed down here. I think we've, we have have identified the artist, looks German to me. Um, there he is, rather dashing young chap, isn't yes. he? Sat on the terrace. The tree is exotic, look. Oh, yes. It's a palm, it's not a... Mm. So that's interesting, because does that suggest it's Southern European or even more exotic? Who knows, 676, truth will out. Um, yes, some nice old clock there. How about a great big... Studio ceramic ram. <laughs> nice. He's yes. Look at the eye like he's horrible. He's not horrible. He's snapping. <laughs> oh, um, no. <laughs> three, nine, five. No. There we go. We've got sort of mice and style. Pieces. Oh, those are nice cases. Look at those. They are nice cases. I, I, Great I if your name is Turner. You, you do what people do, which is latch on something that isn't in the sale. Oh. Yep. This was uh, sold on the 13th. Oh, sorry. Please come and collect your trunks. Yes, or please. They'll, or, be, they'll be removed yeah. by an admirer. Yes. Um, there's a bit of Dalton. Quite stylish. Yes, that's nice. Nice scrolling um, with FAB. I think that's Florence Barlow. Um, so that's nice. 424. Look at that clock. Look at that clock. Rum Boots Coffee. Ooh, uh, this is, and it's electric. Mm. Uh, lot 419. There we go. Period piece. 50s, 60s, I guess. That's quite fun. Yeah. Always. The, the whole place is Eggs. easy. Heaving with fun. Ostrich um, eggs. Are they ostrich eggs? Yes. Yes. I don't think they're emu. I think they're ostrich. Yeah. So you could people mount them up and do things with them these days, don't they? Mm, yeah. Get lamps and the like out of them. Colour glassware. Selection Plenty there. of glassware. A oh. rummage lot of fossils. Lot 414. If you like your ammonites, this is where to come to by the looks of things. Look at that. I mean, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? And it yes. says underneath it's Zisha... Uh, Zilchovus plus 360 million years old. Wow, some of the valuers have been here that long. Is that antique? <laughs> yeah, um, and there, look at that that's some sort of early plant. It doesn't have a label on it, unfortunately, but um, there we go. A good lot, and then lots of other little ones. Look, giant methane termite sits in here, hopefully. Mm. Um, there's a fishy that's fantastic, that's brilliant. So, done, oh, isn't a it? lovely tooth. Ooh. 350 million years, Some Moroccan sort of area. It says, uh, well, um, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Uh, so there we go, nice dot of fossils. I, I was actually looking at these. Oh, these are great. These oh, are, are the fun. OKT42, is usually the registration plate. There we are, four, three. Uh, Those the are great fun. Shorter and Sons made them amongst other people. This one doesn't say who made it, but 431, there we go. Set of three of those. More Guinness. More Guinness. More Guinness. It's good for you, lot 433. Yes. They're fun, aren't they? They're great um, fun. I don't know They're how a bit old more they manageable. are. They're manageable. 
Yes. They're not sort um, of, they are sort they of. Are, they're, they're condiments, yeah. Mm. And then there's a nice old um, Calden Potteries ashtray and the classic toucan that had a lamp. He's, he's lost his mount for the time being. Poor chap. Further Guinness down here, 412, obviously had a Guinness thing. This looks like an original Desperate Dan cartoon. Uh, lot 411 there. That will have been, is that Beano or Dandy? I think it's Dandy, isn't it? Um, that's Can't quite remember. nice. 655 from the same collection again. HF wearing. It's a view of Folkestone. Mm. Just got a nice touch to it, yes. hasn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, carrying on. Musical instruments, walking sticks, another nice little lot of mixed ceramics here. Lot 444, if mm. it's your sort of thing. There's a nice bow pot. Would have had a, 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 a lid that sat there that was pierced for sort of flowers and things to go through, but mm. nicely made with the Derby mark underneath it, like the ram's heads. Quite a nice touch with it. A rather smart butter dish that's lost its handle. But um, nice quality again, Derby again. So it's a Derby group uh, and this, these rather jazzy plates. Look at those. Yes. That will be, I, I'm guessing that's a known service. For these Egyptian-esque decoration. Mm. And then just to round it off, a nice dish painted with a view of Italy, it says. Ah. View in Italy. I'm um, slightly worn, but there we go. Look at those fishing reels. Yes, fishing reels. So these are re-offered by looks of things. Lot 406. Um, they're a slightly odd mix. I mean, that's a weirdity. Isn't it? That is an oddity. And, and I'm not, I don't know what quite what that's for, but it, 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 they were in at £100 last time and they didn't sell, which suggests that the angling collecting community have looked at these and thought uh -huh. there's not anything here that's overly exciting to them. I mean, it's a shame, really, because that's a lovely little brass reel there, mm. um, which I think is Olnwick or somebody like that. Nicely made. Um, they're being at about fifty pounds this time, so I'm sure they go. Yes. Uh, where would you like to go next, Madam? Would you like well, to look over the back, or, or? Well, the actually the um, jewelry room's open, isn't Let's it? Let's go and have a look. At so the I'm just going to stop this. And... So in the vault here, and look what we do at this stage is we we, we sort of look down and have a look and see what <laughs> Roger's do. got in okay. here. Ooh. So, eight seventy nine, nice Zenith gentleman's wristwatch. Looks very clean, steel case. Does it go? Yes, it does. Like that. Just mm. lovely and clean and sort of non-fussy, isn't it? Yes. Eight, seven, nine. Yes. Um, other items that catch various eyes. This catches mine. Eight, seven, six. Memorial ring. Hair around the outside. Excuse the paint on the fingers. Um, <laughs> pearls there. Would have had perhaps a little glass over the top. And then this sort of is why I grabbed it, because it has a little note on it. Um, Something hair. Somebody's hair. Somebody and... Ellen's hair for dear with the, 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 the best love. So there we go, a oh. little, little note there to do, make, gives a slight more personal touch to that bit of memorial jewellery. Oh my gosh, look at that, that ring is enormous. Which ring? There. This yeah. one? Well, this is 8.98, look at that. <laughs> that is That's something. great, isn't it? Yes. It, it's in this very sort of naturalistic flowing gold. Um, it's very sumptuous. Yes, that's 18 or 15. Roger will have got it. Diamonds, aquamarine in the middle, 898. Fairly good size. That is something. Very striking. It is very striking. Yeah, interesting. 898. We like the look at that. Yeah. Next to it, look at those earrings, 899. Mm, they're pretty, aren't they? There we are. They're pretty, pretty yeah, showy. I Ruby and diamond. Oh, what did you say that you um, read my birthstone was? Your birthstone was, um, <laughs> I'm trying to think, it was something very basic. It was Ruby. Um, yeah. Here, a, a box. Oh. A box is good. Tudor, 896. There we go. Oh, you see, there's another nice simple... There's a nice stylish watch. I like this sort of ridge around the yes. edge of the case. You see women like wearing this sort of watch as well. It's something slightly bigger. Right. Well, that's good. It's a Tudor print. It's self-winding. It's going. I wonder if those are the original hands. I suspect they are. And they're really striking, aren't they, in black? They are. They're super. They're really good. You're not going to um, be able to... Is that a, a sort of a plastic... Yeah, this is an expandable. Expandable. Dying, dying. They were all the fashion at one mm. time. I used to like those. Yes. Um, you say, because you didn't. Uh, let's pop that back. Looks like the original box. Probably not the original bracelet, nice. but still a nice thing. 898. Mm. So just from poking around and opening a few boxes, there'll be... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's fab. There we go. 
Mr. Foxy. Foxhead, 895. Again, rose diamonds and cabochon rubies, I suspect. Really nice. It's not Late Victorian, probably. Mm. Um, Got some nice bits. And there's some more bits going back, you know, going right back here. There's sort of other interesting rings. Um, you can't see through this. You can't see glass. through. Hang on, let me bring this no. to you. So, grab a selection. 913, sort of orchidy brooch. 908, those look like garnets to me. Mm. Oh, look at that. Multi stone, 932. What about that? A gold bracelet, it looks quite unusual. The gold to me. bracelet, it is unusual to you. Um, that is 933. Hmm. It opens. It's uh, Victorian thing. by the look of it. Yes, it is, isn't it? What's the uh, back? So, have I got it upside? I've got it upside down. There we go. Can you see these little intaglios? Yep. Are carved with classical so what motifs, so little cupids, sardonyx, or something like that. I guess Roger's got the uh, may have had a stab at what it is and will have mm -hmm. tested to see whether it's gold. Um, so there we go, it's quite small. It is small, fit me. There we go. <laughs> um, yes, so a good mixture. I mean, last but not least, nice little diamond line bracelet. This is nice. Got 918, and we just keep going. There's, yes, uh, there's some nice things. 928. That's pretty. It's good, isn't what's it? that? What's, what's the green? I can't remember. Uh, I guess that's tourmaline. Oh, I would have thought. Um, Not peridot. Oh, it could be peridot. That's a good point. Yeah, nine two eight. There we go. Looks maybe the original box. Velvet. Very dainty, but very smart. Mm. So a good selection a of nice jewellery in the sale. Uh, that really just leaves us to wonder. Excuse me, chatting away as I can pop this all back so it's in the right place. Um, we'll go over the warehouse and have a look and see uh, what's been going on there. So here we are in the warehouse. Interesting things, I have to say. It's kicking off with lot one. Look at that. 20p for a ride. That's great, isn't it? You said you remember that. I do. I'm that old. Ride and cowboy. So from the uh, 1950s. Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> you meaning? Um, there we go, lot one. If you have a very small umbrella, there's a very small umbrella stand for you. Lot three. Look how tiny it is. Uh, that's different. More um, elephants. Upright Piano by Morley. Look at this. This looks to be the Victorian. Perhaps a bit later than Victorian. What would, would that be? Unusual model. It's a funny colour. It's faded. Um, it, it was walnut and it was quite dark, I think. And if we could get inside, which we perhaps can, not readily. No. We might see the original colour. But uh, yes, it's faded down a lot, the uh, Morley Piano. Right. Um, otherwise, dresses, clocks. Dresses. Don't Tile go too top. far. I haven't got the microphone. Tile top tables. <laughs> I was saying that early in the morning. Uh, and looking backwards at the same time. Very delicate little table there. Lot 14 with the bird cage and the slender turn stem, the downswept leg. Sitting upon quite a handsome walnut chest. Lot 13. Um, reasonable colour. Later handles. Probably later feet, but and probably later veneer to the top, but but nonetheless. Quite a smart piece of furniture. Oh, look at those chairs. Those are quite... Oh, yeah, these are funky, aren't they? Yeah. These lots 28. Mm. It says here, a pair of uh, Jacobson style egg mm. chairs. One needing restoration. Yes, you're not kidding. We, we don't lie. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so there we go. I think they're in at... Um... They're a good shape, aren't they? Yes, they are a good shape, aren't they? Yeah, very, very, you know, very stylish, mm. aren't they? And the upholstery is a little bit worn, but uh, it looks to be the original, which gives them a bit of character as well. So mm. they're quite nice. Lot 20... Eight, eight, those are. Lot yeah. 28. Then uh, we've got some stylish-ish, -ish. French, probably. Oh, I like those Lot chairs. Lot 23. I'm not uh, sure about the cushion. That sort of fashion for these, these tired, um, distressed, tan leather chairs, uh, armchairs, seems to be sort of wearing out now. People are doing other things. Um, Howard chairs are still popular, but... Um, Otherwise, yeah, perhaps that sort of look is slightly moving on now and the demand is not quite at what it was. Mm. Garden furniture as ever, lot 102 there, lot 22, various garden things. The garden is waking up, the bulbs are appearing, so yeah. uh, one should start thinking about that. Clock dial in um, mm. zinc or similar metal, I guess that you'd put a, a battery movement in behind there. Um, can't quite see how one gets at it at this stage, but perhaps it's just for look. Anyway, Maybe. there we are. There's mm. always something different here. More beds. Quite a few bookcases. This is, is this a house or is this a... Oh, a look at that. That is huge. Do. That's a very big doll's house, don't we? <laughs> yes. Um, lot 113. Gosh. 
You can put the children in it. Nothing yeah. In, uh, anything more. Telescope, lot 50. Oh, that's nice. Gosh, that's Stylish a bed. smart bed, isn't lot it? 74. Yes. Frames fairly solid. Got a gothic look to it. It's a double, yes. I should say. Mm. Uh, compact and wardrobes, jazzy carpets. Very dry, jazzy carpets. Yeah, we don't look down enough, do we? Well, it's easy to drift by. Now, this catches my eye. Probably Italian, I would say. Lot 78. Nice, rich colour to it. Um, original locks. Not quite so convinced about the handles, possibly. But, uh, yeah, still, mm. handsome piece of furniture. Nice little uh, starburst inlays to the top. Good state of polish. Lot 81, another garden table. Yes, they're coming out now. Look, there's they're one that side as well. Yes. One, three, five, well, blind. It's that time. We're thinking about our garden. I'm well, sure I guess we are. are. Yes. Oh, we're going around here. Are we? Yes. <laughs> I'm leading. There was something that I thought that would be. Oh, it was that material, but it's um, just a little box. Which material? Little 86. Box. 86. I would yeah. hope you get the two together. Um, need some hinges. Yes. There's a restoration project. Now, for, for all these people that like upholstering stools and things yeah. in contemporary fabrics, some, there's two available there. That The fabric at the bottom one is uh, quite fun, isn't it? Uh, yes. Um, nice wall barometer there. Aneroid by Blackie. Good maker. 117. Mm. And I thought we'd better go and open this doll's house. So we drift past yes. this huge Edwardian, finely uh, uh, moulded overmantel at 114 Get huge the girls house. yes well it's it's <laughs> oh that's it's a shame it's compartmentalized mm. uh, ready to fit yes um so some perhaps... dad could just do something amazing with that yes there we go dads out there yeah um just the sort of challenge you want to take yes. on is Wallpaper. a small project that you think is going to work out and you end up spending hours in a fortune con it's nice uh, isn't next it? to it there's yeah, a small leather box trunk lot 93 that is nice pop the locks gosh how massively very smart. old i would say no um but it's got a really good look to it nice um clean interior lighting I mean, it's got a bit of age and it's certainly got quality to it so smart thing that so very as smart. ever a host of things yeah, for you to nice come and look at Hopefully something for everyone in this cell. Uh, no, I think so. Like a good lot. I think we've got 666 lots in yes, this cell. Yes, you said 666. Six. strange. Yes. But uh, so I'm not quite sure what they've been up to while we're away, but we're back now. Uh, reminder, deadline for the fine sale, the quarterly sale, is this week coming. So that will be Wednesday the 22nd is the deadline. So if you've got something in mind and you've still got time to squeeze it in, but, but get it in sooner rather than later. And otherwise, thank you for watching. Uh, we look forward to you enjoying this sale. Thank you.